Let's get started into the Dr. Facilier Villain Guide Breakdown. So his objective is to control the talisman and successfully rule New Orleans. And so these are two of the most important cards and you're want, gonna wanna get to them as quickly as possible. So one of the best things you can do is to learn which cards are not as important and discard those as much as you can so that you can get to these cards as quickly as possible. Along with the talisman and rule New Orleans, the third card you're gonna need, which there's only one talisman and one rule New Orleans, but there are a couple of the cards will tell. So this one is very interesting because with Dr. Facilier, you have a fortune pile, and that's different from anybody else. And so when you play the cards will tell, you're going to pick up three random cards from the fortune pile and resolve them. So if you already have the talisman on the board, and then you play Rule New Orleans into the fortune pile, when you play cards will tell, if you pull out Rule New Orleans, you now win, which can be helpful for some of those surprise victories because you don't have to wait to start your turn. And you also, uh, like it says, you have to control the talisman. There are some heroes that can take the talisman from your side of the board up to the top, and so you have to vanquish them and get it back in order to win, uh, which is what we had just mentioned right here. Okay, so here is where the fortune pile is, right here on his board. It states it, and you put them right below. So you can put cards in your fortune pile as well as the other players. So you're going to want to watch out for the number of cards that are in there at a time, and there are certain things that you can do to, to get rid of them, like illusion power and desperation. And so if you can try to clean that out and keep it below three, that increases your chances of getting the rule New Orleans. The other option is if you have two of the cards will tell or something, you could just play them one after another, get rid of some of the cards that way. And and then as it says here, cards are only put into or removed from the fortune pile if a card ability specifically tells you to do so. So the Rule New Orleans one tells you put it in the fortune pile. And then there's some other cards uh, that are for the heroes in the fate deck and they will say things like put any two cards or do things like this and put them in. So that's when you add them to it. You can't just add them to any time that you want. Okay, so here on the bottom you'll see that it has the ability at first and then it has the fortune ability. So these are two different things. So if you play this normally, you're gonna gain two power, and then you're gonna put it in the fortune pile. Then what happens is when you play the cards will tell and you resolve the cards, this is what it's telling you to do. So when you play the cards will tell, you will gain two power and then discard friends on the other side if that one is revealed as one of the three. So this is a good one on both sides of the spectrum to get a bunch of power because you get power put it in there, and then you get power once you do the cards will tell, which makes it really easy to, to get up on the amount of power that Dr. Facilier has. Uh, you just want to be careful with that because if you put too many in there and then the opponents put some in there, then it's going to decrease your chances of getting that Rule New Orleans card when the time comes. So as we mentioned earlier with the cards will tell, that will be picking three random cards and we will be resolving them in any order, and if you get the Rule New Orleans one at the right time, then that's how you will win. One of the things that you're gonna to need to know is about the Shadow Spirits, which are allies. So they can be very helpful to you to get rid of heroes, but they can also turn on you in the Fortune Pile. So with the Shadow Spirits in the Fortune Pile, you're gonna lose two power and then discard them, and in the Fortune Pile, this one's really bad. So if you're playing against Dr. Facilier, if you can get the Mask Spirits in there, that's a really powerful thing to stop him, or at least slow him down. So if this is revealed, that's the only one that can be resolved in that action. So if you pick up Rule New Orleans and the Mask Spirits, you're only going to resolve Mask Spirits, and the Rule New Orleans is going to go back in the pile. So they can't win on that turn. So it's really important if you're playing against him to put that in. And if you look at it from Dr. Facilier's perspective, you do not want the Mask Spirits in there. So if it somehow gets in there, you're going to need to do everything you can to get rid of that as quickly as possible. And then that's the Shadow Spirits and then the Mask Spirits. Along with Control the Talisman, so like it is here, we had mentioned earlier, if you have the Talisman and then somebody plays a hero with a three or less strength, like Eudora, they will take the talisman and they'll keep it there until somebody defeats them. Once it's defeated, it will come back down. And so you're going to have to be careful about when you play it. One of my favorite things to do is, is to try to wait until the last possible moment to play the talisman, because the longer you have it out there, the more likely someone's going to take it from you, and then that adds another step to the process of having to get it back. And if a hero who has the talisman is moved, then it's going to stay, and if it's another hero is played, you're not going to move it, you're just going to leave it with the one that was already there.